What's up guys? Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today I just got home from work, but I had two packages of which I never even knew was a thing show up at the house. So naturally, I had to do a, an unboxing and first impression video just to get them on the channel. So stay tuned. All right, so as you can see in the title, this is a unboxing of the SX decoys. Now these are fully flocked decoys, so I'm just gonna do both in one and then I will do an in-depth review of both once we get to that point. But this right here, we're just looking at the upright hen and the aggressive de Jake decoy. And I have no idea what to expect when it comes to an actual look being fully flocked because I've had fully flocked duck decoys, goose decoys, all that good stuff. But turkey is, I've never even heard of it. I know there's flocking in turkeys on strutters, three quarter, stuff like that. I've seen that, but this is something new. And I definitely think it's going to be something that can help trick some gobblers, especially on public land or heavily pressured land where they see a lot of decoys, hear a lot of calling. This is just flat out different. So what we're going to do is I already opened it. This is the bag of the upright hen decoy. Uh, they're actually extremely light for being fully flocked. I thought it'd be a little heavier, but that's what the bag looks like. Uh, the only carry strap I see is this right here. So it looks like that's just how you carry them. But I will say there is padding in here, so at least they ship decoys that are flocked with care. So put that down, let's look at the Jake. Okay, so there's the aggressive Jake. Same situation, same bag. Uh, just your bungee, one little carry. Uh, kinda wish they had a shoulder strap to them, especially at the price these decoys are. Uh, you'd think your bag would replicate that, but hey, let's look and see how the decoys look. I like that. They shipped it with bubble wrap. That's nice, especially with flocking. You get you, you will have to take different care of a fully flocked decoy versus a regular. Wow. Okay, so there you go. Man, the head on this. Look at the head. I mean, that is awesome detail. And you can tell that snood how it is it's just he's in control and uh, I mean the detail in this is exceptional these <laughs> this is really nice then you can see too especially with the Sun you got those different colors you see in a turkey it's not just flocked you do have the paint there that looks really really good especially the further back you get looks just like a turkey and then into the tail, there's the stake storage right in the back side. And then this is, once again, this is fully flocked. They do have little tiny Jake spurs on there. So fully flocked decoy, I mean, this is how it looks. It's uh, in size, it's really not overwhelming. It's not a giant decoy, which is good because in New York, they don't like it. So this decoy looks pretty dang good. Now, the inside here, this is where you put your stake, and it, it goes up there quite a bit. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's, it's kind of like the Higdon Apex Strutter, uh, where this stake looks to have give it a lot of motion. Looks to be the same thing. I'm assuming that's gonna go up. Yeah, and it's gonna allow it to not rotate 360, but it will have, you know motion so that's the jake once again i will do an in-depth review of all this i'm gonna go stake him up we'll get the hen out look at that one and uh then we'll show some b-roll of them set up all the good stuff and i'll break down my first impression thoughts what i like what i don't like so stay tuned okay so now i got that jake out there a bit from me that head is just unreal. I mean, it, it looks absolutely amazing. But let's get this hen out. Okay, so same thing with the hen. 
shows up in bubble wrap, which is a beautiful thing. So we'll get that out. I can smell the flocking. Wow. Okay, so there's the hen. She's really small, but you can see how she's postured. And fully flocked, same thing, tail holds your stake, which that seems to be pretty snug in there. Don't think it's gonna come out. Then you got the little detail on the legs. Let's uh, see if I can't get this so you can see, there we go. You can see the feathers, the further back you get, the better it looks. And going up to the head, let me zoom in here, really show off this detail. I mean, you can tell there's a lot of detail in this. You get it in the sun too, it really pops. Then there's the feathers. The carb on it is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, this is a really light decoy. That's what it looks like. This is just your upright hen. Motion stake again, just goes right up in here. Actually that little, it's got a little pogo stick it sets on and then that allows it to turn. Not a full 360, but it also gives it some wobble. So it's a lot like the Apex Higdon strutter, but this right here, this is different for sure. Given a fully flocked look, I mean, well, I guess we'll see tomorrow how it works. I think I'm gonna take these and really test them out, uh, but we'll see. Let's get it up next to the Jake. I'll, I'll roll some B-roll, I'll film it, how they look, and we'll go from there. All right, so here we go. They're in the shade, just keep that in mind. But there's the hen and the Jake. I mean, that, that head to me just really pops. And then you got them all set up like that. This is not how I would set them up, but this is just to get them out. And you can see how dark they are. The contrast will help them. It's no different than adding black to a goose spread or your decoy spread. It'll help the avians see them. And you can see, I mean, they definitely look good. And we have a little, little wind and you can see the motion right there. It does not take much to make these things move. My first impression of the SX decoys, fully flocked line. Now for the price, I do wonder how much they'll sell. Uh, if, if these do perform, it's worth every penny. But I have many questions. How good is the flocking? How durable is the flocking? What will the turkeys think of it? Uh, they probably haven't seen this before. I mean, especially where we hunt, they have not seen this. It's not something that's normal. It's the first time I've ever even seen flock decoys. So I'm not sure how turkeys are gonna react. I really don't know. But I do think giving them a different look than what they've been seeing, especially when they've, this point in the season, a couple weeks in, well, a week in, week and a half, public land, they've been, they've been called to, they've been shot at, they've, been, they've seen decoys, they've hung up. Now I will say this, that extra little motion from that stake, it's really good. It's almost as good as that Higdon strutter. Now, mind you, that did have a fan, so that's like a sail. It's going to give it a little more motion, but these are wiggling. They're moving back and forth. I mean, I'm eager to see how they do. I really am. But guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you thought of these SX fully flocked turkey decoys. I mean, never thought I'd say that. They're, they say on the box they're realistic, lightweight, durable, and effective. Now, I can tell you the, reali the realistic... They do look good. That head is one of the best carbs I've seen besides your DSD. The hen looks good too. The, the paint, you have to keep in mind, flocking will not allow that paint to, you know, look as good as normal painted decoys. But the flocking is, is the whole point is to get that contrast. Really lock them in on it. But for the price, I mean, they are expensive. I'll go over the price and the reviews of each. They're really expensive for the fully flocked. They're still pretty dang expensive for the, the regular as well. 
But if the turkeys like them, they come in, we'll like them too. So guys, drop your comments below. Let us know what you thought of these. If you've used these, let us know how they've worked for you. I'm really eager to test them. I think we'll test them out tomorrow, maybe Saturday, and uh, see what happens. But as always, guys, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We give you no BS, honest performance talks, the rest walks, reviews, like this right here. These are really expensive. They're really different, and I'm really excited to test them out. So we will give you our honest reviews. If these are a complete disappointment, you will know. If they're lights out, you will know. But guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. I got to get all my stuff ready, my camera gear, my camo, my 28 gauge, all that ready for tomorrow. We're going to be back after them. So as always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.